Hello? Hi, ma'am. Uh, were you talking to someone from Geek Squad today? Yes. Uh, we've been monitoring this scam call center. I work with a nonprofit organization. Those are just scammers, ma'am. They are not Geek Squad. I'm for connecting with customer support. You are speaking to Adam. How may I help you today? I have a bill here from Best Buy, the Geek Squad. It's dated today for $349.99 for a maintenance plan. Okay. What is this about? Uh, may I have the invoice number, please? The invoice number is LXT30371. Just give me 10 seconds and let me give a quick search on my system. I can see on my system you got charge of 349.99 for the annual subscription of the Geek Squad, which you taken on 14th of January 2019. So this is just an auto renewal of the old plan which you already have. How may I help you on that? I don't want this plan. What is it for? Whenever a person buy any technical devices from Best Buy, a television, a refrigerator, a computer, tablet, so they get a free service of the Geek Squad. Once the free services gets over, then the customer starts getting charges for the annual basis. On 2018, you bought something from Best Buy? I have no idea. Okay, not a problem, ma'am. What do you want to do? Do you want to continue with this plan? Or do you want to apply for the cancellation and get your money reimbursed? I don't know what you're talking about. All I want to do is I want to cancel it. I don't want this yet. I've got your point. Let me try to explain you once again. Geek Squad is an antivirus company which provides the protections to the customer from the malware and the spyware attack. So you are using the services for your computer. Geek Squad. It is already inbuilt on your computer. It's already there. And that's why you're getting charged every year. I haven't been charged. If I was charged before, I didn't remember paying it. On 2020, you paid $226. For what? For the services. For Geek Squad plan, you are paying every year. If you Did allow I pay me the novel, yes, on 2022, on 2021, and on 2020, and on 2019 as well. This is the fifth time which you are paying. Do you want me to provide all of the information? No, I, I don't remember ever ever getting a notice from you before. I don't. I'm the only one that pays mm -hmm. the bills, and this is the mm -hmm. first time I ever remember getting a bill from Best Buy. I do believe you are in front of your computer right now. Let me go. Get that that other computer is going to take a couple of minutes. Hold on. Take your time. I can hold the line for you. Okay. I have it on my table now. It says it's Microsoft gone. account problem. We need to fix okay. your Microsoft account. Look on the extreme top of your computer screen on the right hand side. You will find an X sign. I don't see an X sign up there. Look on your keyboard, left hand side down bottom. Do you see a control button, CTRL? Yes, yes I do. Just next to it, which button do you see? FN. Next to that, do you see any button with the four flag logo on it, a Windows button? The next one is next has to the like four windows. Yes. Now what you need to do, you need to press the four flag windows button and you need to hold it and at the same time you need to press the letter R. R as in Roger. I'm holding the both of them and nothing's happening. I don't understand now. Do I write in my pen? What pen do you see? Right back first screen again. What is the first screen? The one with the uh, magnifying glass on it. Okay. You need to type R-U-N. Run. Now, where do I type run? I, I don't know. Where, what you can see now? Can you just tell me so I will able to understand? Now, now I'm on a screen that has my name. And then it has place for pin. Do I put in my pin? Yes, put your pin. Hi, ma'am. Uh, were you talking to someone from Geek Squad today? Yes. Uh, we've been monitoring this scam call center. I work with a nonprofit organization. Those are just scammers, ma'am. They are not Geek Squad. Well, I was on the phone with him for two hours. He called me back, and I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, go, I didn't even answer him. Okay, okay, that's great. So, did you um, give him any money? No, 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 no. Did you? He open I already. He said. He said I already paid. Oh, okay. Did you open your bank account? 
on your phone or computer with him watching? Like, did you download any desks on your phone or computer? No, no. Okay, okay. Um, If he calls you back, I would just not talk to him because he's just a scammer, okay? He's not from Geek Squad. And there's some emails going around right now that'll be from Geek Squad, Amazon, PayPal, Norton, McAfee. And they all say that they're that you made a charge or they're auto-renewing. It's all lies. It has nothing to do with you. They just send it out in a mass to mass uh, groups of people and try to get people to call and then they try to scam them out of money by having them open their bank account in front of them or um, go to the bank or something like that, okay? He just was making me get into any debt, mm-hmm. which I've never been into before and I'm not computer savvy. I'm 83 years old, so I don't have any bank accounts or anything on my uh, computer. Appreciate your call. Yes, ma'am. Just be careful with those emails, okay? Because there's sca- a lot of scams going around. And if anyone else asks you to download any desk, just hang up on them and you can always call your bank if you're concerned. Um, but there's just a lot of scammers that are using any desk to try to get into your phone and then try to like steal money behind your back with your apps or whatever, okay? Alright, well he was trying to make me get into any desk because he said that I, I was going to get my money back. I don't know what they charge it to. I don't remember doing anything with Geek Squad. No, they didn't charge anything he has nothing to do with Geek Squad. It's just a, the whole thing is a complete lie. He just wants to download something on your phone or your computer. Then he wants you to open your bank account. And then he wants to wire himself money. I have, I have nothing to open. Yes, ma'am. Um, he probably didn't know that. But next time someone asks you to download any desk, you can just hang up on them, okay? Okay. I really, I'll... really appreciate that. Normally, I don't answer those calls. But this was an email that I got. Yes, And ma'am. I thought, what the hell am I getting something from a Geek Squad? For, yes, you know, ma'am. And then I, I called, and he said, oh, we can take care of that for you. And two hours on the phone, he never talked about money. Never. He was just trying to get you to download that any desk the whole time? Yes, okay. the whole time. It just wasn't working. I don't even use the theater he's talking about. He said, it's not on your phone book. He said, it's on, because that's all. Mm-hmm. And I, I told him that. I said, I don't use my laptop. I hate it. And I said, as a matter of fact, this is going to cause me to give it to somebody. I, I'm going to just give it away but some somebody could use it and i don't I, it doesn't update or anything i just uh, went in there and i had update and it went, it's all kinds of information that i can't give them right because i don't even know at this point i just got really really upset i said we're spending two hours on this phone i got a hundred things to do today and i can't do them because we're, i'm busy to you know talking to him so now now i, I won't and he did call because he left a message i went in and, and somebody else tried to try to call me i got from pennsylvania and washington yeah, that was me, ma'am. I'm sorry. I was just trying to make sure he wasn't scamming you. Oh, I, I really appreciate what you were trying to do. I really do. Definitely won't be bothered with him anymore. I've seen stuff from PayPal. I didn't do anything with PayPal. So, you know, I just let, let it go. Mm-hmm. But it's terrible. It's really terrible what, what they're doing to people. It is. For sure. And that's why we're trying to stop them. Uh, our nonprofit organization just watches, uh, monitors, and gets lists of numbers they've talked to. And then we try to call people and tell them so that they don't get scammed. Well, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. So just be careful with those emails. Um, if you have any doubts, just wait for it to check in your bank. You can always dispute it there if it's real because those emails, 99% of them are just complete lies. Okay? So it's just better okay. not to call any of those phone numbers. You can just check with your bank. And then if it actually clears your bank, then you can, you know, dispute it there. Okay? And that way you won't Sounds have good. Okay, well, have a great day. It was nice talking to you. And be safe. Same here. Thank you so much. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.